Hey there, it's Mr. Shifley. I'm glad you could be with me today because today we're gonna draw my favorite animal. Let's see if you can guess what my favorite animal is. What's that? Oh, hippopotamus? I love hippopotamuses, but they're not my favorite animal. Keep guessing, keep guessing. Alligator? Oh, those are cool, but that's not my favorite animal. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Dragons, well, yeah, I love to draw dragons, but those are not my favorite animal. And this is actually a real animal. Yeah, I heard somebody say it. Yeah, it's a giraffe. Yeah, giraffes are my favorite animal because they have a really long neck. And I also love their spots. They have the coolest spots, other than maybe a leopard. Leopards have cool spots, too. So are you ready? Oh, if you're not, that's okay. Just pause the video and get caught up, get the things you need, and then hit play. All right, let's get started. This is going to be fun. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to orient my paper. Orient just means uh, uh, turn it the right way. So I know giraffes are really tall, so you need a tall piece of paper. So make sure you have a tall piece of paper. I'm kind of at a disadvantage here because I have this wide frame here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in half. And so you can either turn your paper so that it is vertical, so it's tall, or you can take your horizontal paper, fold it in half, and then unfold it. That way you have space for two drawings here, which is what I did. So to start my giraffe, I'm going to draw a rectangle, sort of a rectangle. On this side it's going to be narrower, and on this side it's going to be wider. So it's more of a trapezoid, really. A trapezoid that's been stretched out and turned to its side. All right, next I'm going to figure out where the neck should be. And I think it should be right about there. And if you think it should be somewhere else, that's okay. Our giraffes can be a little different. Um, let's see, the front of the neck is going to go down this way. And then the body is going to be this sort of geometric shape here that's sort of one, two, three, four, five, six, sort of a weird hexagon. Yeah, a weird hexagon. Okay, down here, I'm going to see straight down from the body. I'm going to add the feet along this. This is like the ground down here. I'm gonna have one hoof here. Oh, I just noticed something. Giraffes are a lot like cows. If you were with me yesterday, you drew a cow. And we did a lot of these same steps. A giraffe is a lot like a cow. They both have these hooves that are sort of separated. See that little cleft right there? It's a, to a, two, a two, to two toes on its, on its hoof. And the cows and giraffes both have like this heel that kind of comes up from the hoof. A little bump there for like the knob of the foot. And Cows and giraffes both have four legs. So it's a lot of the same lines and shapes. It's just the giraffe is a lot longer and stretched out. So we did these sort of curved lines for the legs on the cow. We're going to do the same thing on the giraffe. They're just, the giraffe is a lot taller. So curving back, curving front, a lot of the same lines were on the unicorn too, except for unicorns have one toe on their foot because they're like a horse. So here's my leg, I sort of exaggerated it there, the, the, the skinniness of it, it's okay to exaggerate, especially if you're just having fun, which is what you should be doing right now, just having fun with this drawing. 
There's the other back leg. So I have everything kind of where it needs to be. Let's put a tail right here. Now I just need to go in and, and fill in some of the details. So I'm gonna put a nostril here and another little nostril here. And it's got the same lip that our unicorn had because its mouth is sort of tucked under its under its, its nose right there. And here's its eye with a really, with a really long eyelashes to protect its eyes from the sun. I want to tell you something weird about giraffes. I don't know if you knew this, but they have one little horn. It's just like a little bump right there. And then they have two more horns over here. So they have three horns. Three horns on my giraffe. It still looks a little weird. I think it's missing something. Oh yeah, it's missing an ear. So these are a lot like those cow ears that we drew yesterday, but maybe they're stretched out a little bit longer. They're a little skinnier. We'll have the same parts here. But, um, you know, they're elongated. Now comes my favorite part, the spots. So these giraffe spots are gonna be here and there. And for the most part, they are gonna be this sort of pentagon shape. So we have a five-sided shape here, but since it's on this organic shape of the neck of the giraffe, these shapes are gonna bend and twist and turn and each one is gonna be a little different, but it still is a pattern. It's a pentagon shape that's repeating over and over again. Now they're smaller up here, but down here on the body, especially near the shoulder, is where they're gonna be the biggest. And then as they spread out from here, they're gonna get smaller and smaller this direction and smaller and smaller this direction. put spots on it or did you put stripes on it? All right, it's your drawing, you decide. I heard one person say they put a rainbow pattern on it. You could put a rainbow pattern on it, it's your drawing, make it a little different. Use your creative muscles. Don't just copy what I'm doing, have fun with it. Make it yours. Make it something that you're proud of. And when you're finished, don't forget to show it off. You can email it to me. You can put it on, you can put it on Twitter. You can just hang it up in your, in your house so that the people you're with can see what you've been working on. Just do anything to put your artwork out there. Okay this a little bit. My giraffe shouldn't be so boxy. It's a living animal. It should be more rounded and organic looking. Okay, so there's one giraffe right there. I have all this space over here. Maybe I'll draw a giraffe over here too. And it's going to be, it's going to, um, this drawing is going to have symmetry, reflective symmetry. So this giraffe is going to have a friend over here that's basically a reflection of this one. So you can see this one over here. I used my imagination a little bit. I put stripes on it. So maybe this, this giraffe is a little bit confused and it thinks it's a zebra. Somehow it got zebra stripes. Um, so there you have it. Um, I also want to show you this. So this is a giraffe that I drew and I used colored pencils. I'll slide this out.
and it moves. So, you know, he can, his head moves, his, his ears move, his tail moves, everything moves. So, um, this is like a, a puppet that um, I'm actually going to use to make some animations. So, what I want to do next is I want to show you how to make your own paper puppet. So, what you'll need is some like heavy paper. This is um, this is old wallpaper, but you could use poster board or tag board or any kind of paper really. Um, these are little brass fasteners. So we'll use uh, four or five of those. And then I have some uh, a source here for my drawing so I know what I'm going for, and I know what I'm trying to create. So I'm trying to make a hippopotamus puppet. Uh, and then you also need like, uh, like some drawing materials or coloring materials. And it'll be nice to have a pair of scissors and a really sharp pencil. So those are my materials. I'm gonna get started first with the hippo's body, which if I'm looking on here, it's sort of jelly bean shaped. Draw a nice jelly bean shape here. Oh yeah, that's looking really good. Okay, now I'm gonna cut this out. Okay, so there's the hippo's body. Next, I'm sort of looking at the head here to see what the head should look like. And I think it would be great if the hippo's mouth can open up nice and wide. So on this paper, I'm going to draw the hippo's head. It's a little bit of a lighter color. It should stand out from this dark blue. I'm gonna draw the hippo's head, but also separately, I'm gonna draw the hippo's lower jaw. Here is the hippo's uh, its nose, two nostrils, a mouth that opens up here, and it goes up to these eyes that sort of stick up off the top of its head. Those are great. Here's a little ear. So there's its head. I also want to draw its mouth opening nice and wide. So let's see, where should I put that? Over here, we have its mouth with two giant teeth and its lip in its lower jaw here. All right, now I'm just going to cut these out. Okay, so I have its head, its jaw. You can see those line up so it can open and close. And then its body. So I'm just going to poke a pencil through each. Poke that. Poke this. So the body, the head, the jaw are going to be connected with this fastener. So I have a hippo with a mouth that can open nice and wide. Okay. Next, I want to add some feet or legs or both. And I'm looking at this shape right here and it sort of reminds me of like an hourglass. So I'm going to draw an hourglass sort of shape on this paper. 
and I'm going to cut that out. Here's the bottom, and it sort of curves up like that. Go ahead and cut it out. Okay, so I have two feet here. I'm sort of skipping ahead, so if you ever need to pause or rewind so that you can get caught up, that is fine. So that's going to go here. That's going to go there. I already did a little poke there on each of them with the pencil so that these can fit together. hippo and its front legs. Let's think about the back legs now. Okay, this shape's kind of weird. Let's see what I can do with that. Let's see what I can do. We have the curved, the, the foot right here. I'm just going to do a little curved line for the foot. The toes. First part of the leg there, it kind of bends this way, and then back again the other way. So I'm going to get, cut two of those shapes out. So there's my hippo. Clear off my desk a little bit so you can see it better. And it can move, so you can have a puppet show with this. You could make an animation with it. I like to use the app called Stop Motion for animation. I think before I do that, I think it needs just some pink on it, like some pink spots. These, this pink around their nostrils, the pink around their eyes. So there's my hip. Oh, whoa. Watch your fingers. Oh, Hippo, where are you going? Wait, come back. Well, there you have it. I wonder if I'm ever going to see him again. All right. Well, I enjoyed our time together. I'll see you next time. Bye.